Yeah, you came to see us. No, day before yesterday. Two days ago. Two days ago. All right. Well, where are you from? So I'm from London in England. So I saw your videos on YouTube, which I thought were excellent. I had had um, LASIK surgery done about eight years ago, which I was very unhappy with. It was done as a blended vision, which meant that my eyesight was always fighting against each other. So one was, it felt like one was done too far in the distance and this one was done for near. And whenever I was focusing on somebody, I would find that between the two eyes, I couldn't, uh, couldn't get something that would sit comfortably. Saw your videos, because I saw about um, IOLs on YouTube, I've been following your videos for approximately four years. Yeah. Okay, so you, the logical thing would be your, what's the name of the town you're from? Um, Salisbury, just outside of London. Okay. Yeah. The logical thing is you'd go to see an ophthalmologist yeah. near your hometown yeah. or in your hometown in, yeah, in London, and you'd yeah. say, hey, I've got some problem or yeah. that I would like to have advice on yeah. uh, what and how, what are my options and yeah. what were you told? So I was told just to, this is after the LASIK, they just said, leave it. And how old are you right now? I'm 58. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And they said, just leave it. It's it's good enough. So, so as of this year, you're wearing a contact on one eye? One eye. Just one eye. Just and one then, eye. And that would balance out your far vision? And it would ba balance it out, yeah. And then you'd wear over-the-counter glasses for Yeah, for reading, yeah. Okay, and then you, you consulted an ophthalmologist and... I did. I went back to the... I went to several more um, eye surgeons to see whether they would recommend IOLs because my big concern was having not had the result with the LASIK that I was hoping for, I was really nervous that if I went, then went and had an IOL, that it would not give me... I'd, I'd end up worse off, if you know what I mean. So I, I'd sort of been... Um, had a so because of the negative experience of this surgeon who I researched, and he was supposed to be one of the top LASIK, LASIK surgeons in the UK. So I was really quite nervous about the whole thing, which is why I've watched slowly your videos over time. Uh, and then eventually, I thought, do you know what? I'm going to do something about it. I feel confident now. I felt that the technology was in the right place had seen enough videos about the panoptics and all the various other videos that you'd done. And then I saw your video about the Odyssey. And I was like, okay, it, I think it's time. So I literally booked a flight about a week, 10 days ago. And so I came on the Tuesday for the appointment now Thursday mm -hmm. uh, and I did say to you how quickly could we have it done because I had total confidence that you were going to do a great job and you said we can do it tomorrow and I went let me call my wife so I called my wife who's a portrait painter and who will probably come and have the same treatment done uh, and uh, had the operation yesterday and already the visual improvement has been fantastic so I'm over the moon, a little bit of cloudiness, but one would expect after an operation of that nature. And there's a little bit of flickering, but again, you said that that's something that goes away and I've seen that with other videos. But even if it was just this, for now, I'd be really happy. So I'm very excited about what's gonna happen over the next month. So you're, you're able to read 2024 20, yeah. and 2020 20 near, so J1 plus near yeah. from your right eye. And I think before you were like 2070 near, and that's why you, you had to wear reading glasses. Yeah. Now you don't feel like you have to wear reading glasses, no. right? It seems to me that the um, surgeons over here are f far further down the, the field of using it as a technology on the regular basis. Wow. So I think that starting to move that way in Europe, but I just don't get the sense that they are using it or have got the experience of using it as, as much as you guys have. And you said this is your first time ever to Austin, Texas. The first time to Austin, Texas. First time to Texas? Yeah. Period? Yeah, I've okay. been to LA previously. Okay. I've been skiing in Tahoe. Mm -hmm. uh, I have uh, been to New York. I've been to Boston. But the first time to Texas. And my wife Amazing. has a lot of clients here in Texas. So.
So it, it's amazing. So you two, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, too. thank you. Thank you, Stephen. And thank you. Yeah. No, really much appreciate awesome. it. Awesome. It's amazing uh, yeah. that you uh, you came here for me. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's the power of YouTube and the power of the way you deliver your videos, which is just a matter of fact, not salesy, somebody who does it in a way that is, you know, I'm not doing this for financial benefit, I'm doing this to educate patients <clears throat> and also educate other ophthalmologists. So I think it's fantastic. Thanks. That's it. That's a wrap.